Hope is faith holding out its hand in the dark. First Sunday in Advent, the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 21, verses 25 to 28, 34 to 36. There will be signs in the sun and moon and stars on earth nations in agony bewildered by the turmoil of the oceans and its waves men fainting away with terror and fear at what menaces the world for the powers of heaven will be shaken And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand erect, hold your heads high, because your liberation is near at hand. Watch yourselves, or your hearts will be coarsened by debauchery and drunkenness and the cares of life. And that day will come upon you unexpectedly like a trap. For it will come down on all those living on the face of the earth. Stay awake, praying at all times for the strength to survive all that is going to happen. And to hold your ground before the Son of Man. I greet you in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Christopher Markey, the principal of the Exchange RC Primary School. This Sunday marks the start of a new liturgical year and also the first Sunday of Advent. In today's Gospel, Jesus speaks to his disciples about things that will happen in the future. He told his disciples that the world will experience disasters and suffering and that mankind will be very confused at what will be happening around them. There will be pain and agony all around. In this gospel, Jesus is prophesying to his disciples and to us the end of times and his second coming for those who are faithful to God and the salvation of the world. In the Gospel reading, Jesus also mentioned what should be done and how to react when faced with all the hardships and the trials that must come to pass. Many times we are faced with challenges in our daily lives. How do we react? What do we do? Jesus wants all of us to be alert and pray for strength to survive. All of us must heed Jesus' advice. We must pray asking God for wisdom and strength to overcome the dangers of this world which we face on a daily basis. Presently, the entire world is facing many challenges. Climate change, crime, domestic violence, there are so many more challenges we face. We are now experiencing a pandemic, a scourge on the earth, an enemy we cannot see with our naked eyes. We are living with the COVID-19 virus for which has brought much death and suffering to all of mankind. 
are we now seeing signs that we are approaching the end times as predicted by Jesus? Where do we get hope? What can we do? The powers of this world will never be able to totally ease our grief and suffering. The answer is very simple. We look to Jesus for all the answers. Jesus' word gives us hope. He wants us to prepare ourselves. He wants us to pray for strength to survive. It is now for us to listen and follow his advice during our period of uncertainty. If we listen to his words, we will get through this pandemic and all other obstacles that comes in our way. After the season of Advent, we will be celebrating the season of Christmas. In the Gospel, Jesus also reminds us not to be preoccupied with the cares of this world. This Advent season invites us to step away from what can be a hectic time of parties and shopping during the Christmas season and for us to consider how we commemorate the birth of Jesus, one of the holiest times in Christian faith. It is also a time to reflect on the triumphant return of Jesus at the second coming. This Advent season, all of us are reminded of Jesus' first coming and the preparation for the Christmas season. The season of Advent will always remind us of the time of preparation. It is a special time for all of us to reflect on our lives and how prepared we are to welcome Jesus into our hearts. Let us pray. All-powerful God, increase our strength of will for doing good, that Christ may find an eager welcome at his coming and call us to his side in the kingdom of heaven. As we prepare ourselves for this first Sunday of Advent, let us all reflect deeply on the hope that Christ has brought to us by his coming into this world. Let us rediscover the true spirit of Christmas, not one of excesses and greed, but rather a renewed faith in Christ, our Lord and Savior. As we prepare ourselves this Advent, we also begin a journey to rediscover our faith in God and to realize that newfound hope that we have in Him, that no matter how difficult and challenging our lives may be now, the Lord will always be by our side and will provide us. And it is this hope that we are focusing at on this first Sunday of Advent today to prepare us for the coming of our Lord. Thus, we open this season of Advent with a firm reminder of hope in our Lord and His salvation. Amen. If you pass the raging waters, in the sea you shall not drown. If you walk amid the burning flames, you shall not be harmed. If you stand before the power of hell, and death is at your side, no. afraid I go before you always come follow me and I will give you 